So we're we need a to year fight after. the Democrats no, like that. We're a year after the possible. election. We're a year after, guys. It's it's too yeah. late. It's too late. Sorry. We we <laughs> lost. Yeah, see, I, I had that same attitude as a parent of three daughters. Election integrity yeah. bills. Yeah. Like the oh, you you should have fought already. You should have fought already. All of us are talking at the same time. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, so so it's six people. Like, um, you know, having three daughters, and I tell my daughters, well, if rape is inevitable, you should just lie back and enjoy it. So um, I, that's not how we roll. That's not how I won this election. We go right at it. And so, you know, what we did, we're Goliath right now. We knocked the, we had David and Goliath. We knocked Goliath down with the stone. But you all know, as good Bible people, how did David kill Goliath? It wasn't the stone. Once, did, once Goliath was knocked down, Goliath's sword and cut off his head. So what we do is we keep That's moving true. forward. <laughs> we, the election, we got the motivation and we're pushing forward and we do want to decertify this election and we do want it returned to the rightful owner. Just like if somebody stole your car or stole your jewelry, they don't give it. It goes back to the rightful owner. So you decertify and you give it to the rightful owner. That's Donald Trump. And that's what I'm pushing for. And we're going full bore on that. And that's what we're going to take into the general election here May 3rd. And that's what we're going to take into the primary again in, in August. And the grassroots people, the parents in particular, people are fed up and frustrated with this business as usual. Well, there's nothing we can do about it. We'll just do it next time. No, we're doing it now. And we're going to push forward for that now because that's where the motivation is. And that's how we won this election, getting outspent 10 to 1 by the DeVos money, by the Ken GOP money, and everybody else in the establishment. Because all of Lansing thought I was going to lose as well. So when I was down there Wednesday morning, you could have heard a pin drop. Because they were like, holy crap. Regan pulled off the upset. And they never anticipated this. We are on to something here, people. And we need to tap into that with the grassroots and not let them down. We're moving forward.